All right, good morning, welcome. So welcome any newcomers. Obviously, welcome my subscribers. These are going to be moon signs. I'm gonna be doing north nodes next round um, because I feel like with the north node, that really helps you figure out your purpose. Kind of sets things into perspective a little bit more. So we're doing moon signs. You know, a lot of people hide that inner self, their emotions, all that stuff. So let's see what we have for the Scorpio moon. All right, for the Scorpio moons, feel free to hit that like, subscribe, and share. Scorpio, you're already showing up with the Phoenix here. All right, I kind of see the Phoenix as a Scorpio Sagittarius thing. All right, but more Scorpio because, you know, they rise up like a Phoenix, but then it's fiery energy. So I always see that as a Scorpio Sag cusper. So we've got the palm trees here, all right? So security, growth, or, um, endurance, flexibility, stability. So I feel like you're focusing on growth, which is obviously very good. Focusing on your endurance. You might be like doing some type of strength training, getting your stamina up, which is always good. But that's kind of what Scorpios do, right? All right, for the Scorpio moon. Scorpio moon signs, please. And this will really challenge people to look into their birth chart. You know, because some people don't even know what their moon sign is. They think it's all just your sun, but it's not. There's more to it. So we got the date with the abundance. Wow. Girl talk. Maybe you've been talking with your friends. All right. So what I'm getting here is after a breakup of a separation as you moved on, you're just focusing on being single, having fun, living in the moment here. And while you do that, you may end up meeting somebody, all right? You're kind of getting back into that dating scene, all right? But just keep that positive mindset because you're growing. Security is coming in, growth. All kinds of beautiful things. So always show gratitude. All right. And your life will be bliss. And you'll be able to manifest what it is that you want. So right now, yeah, you're just living in the moment, having fun. You might be dating people, just kind of dating, not taking it serious. Just having fun, enjoying life. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Too many people frown upon people that date and just kind of don't commit to just every person they meet. Or date because dating is what helps us kind of see what options we have out there right I mean we are not back in the 1800s and way back then even further people married for status not love so I feel like Scorpios you're trying to find somebody you can build with somebody that you can also have fun with all right and actually love that's how you're going to do it, by dating. So let's get something out for the Scorpio moons, please. For the Scorpio moons. Got the Hierophant. Yeah, you're really growing. I feel like your knowledge is really taking off, too. All right, got the Magician here. So, yeah, you're really, like, devoted here, all right, to this growth, to stabilizing your life. And that's beautiful. The Hierophant is here to kind of help you. But yeah, I feel like you're just learning. Learning a lot. That's a lot of your growth. And when the more you learn, the more you grow, and the more stable and secure your life seems to be. So keep that positive mindset here. What do we got here? Poking out. The Nine of Cups with the Abundance card. Yes. Keep that positive mindset so you can manifest what it is that you want. I feel like you follow your heart a lot. You're kind of a little romantic um, type of a person, very idealistic here. But with that Nine of Cups with the Abundance card, yeah, your wishful thinking is getting you that. Your growth is getting you that. For a wand energy here. So I feel like you're waiting to find your divine counterpart here. All right, and I feel like the person that you meet as you go out could possibly be marriage material. All right, 
So let's get an outcome here for the Scorpio moons. There could have been, you know, you guys could have had a breakup at one time with somebody and that kind of made you a little iffy. So taking things kind of slow. That magician wants to. I feel like you got the desire to get want to get back out there and date. But also not like to the point of obsessing about it. Yeah, we got the Princess of Pentacles here. I feel like you're just waiting to find that right person. All right, I feel like you're being like, what's the word I'm looking for? You want somebody who's loyal and faithful and dependable. All right, somebody who's very consistent. The Knight of Swords. All right, so I feel like changes are coming into your life here, but you are also making those choices. All right. You're feeling a little impatient, but you need to just kind of stay focused, all right? Got the High Priestess with the Princess of Wands here. So you might be waiting for communication from a possible Pisces here or a Tauren. Um, but I feel like you're ready to take action. I feel like you're ready to just kind of find somebody that can balance you out very well. Somebody who can be in that gray area with you and... Like, just listen to that inner voice. It's going to lead you also. But you're a very mysterious person with a very higher power of knowledge. And that is what's leading you here. Your intuition, your inner voice. we got the King of Swords. Yeah, you've got your head and heart balanced here. Ten of Cups here. You go from the Nine to the Ten of Cups here with the King of Wands. So... I'm getting the vibe that you're going to meet somebody, a possible fire sign, water sign, or earth sign that is really going to satisfy you. Emotionally, you're just going to be happy as shit. All right, so I'm going to leave that there. Feel free to hit that like, subscribe, and share.